The first radiation, the New York Times reports, is set to be hitting uh, the Aleutian Islands today and the southern west coast of the United States, Southern California, tomorrow. With the jet stream set as it moves up and down, south to north, on a daily basis to as the worst radiation comes in moving more towards the north or it may stay on southern california and that is one of the worst case scenarios reported on monday and tuesday by a meteorologist is that if that radiation comes in as you know with the smog uh, with the mountains to the uh, east uh, of san diego and los angeles and other areas that it will trap the radiation over the city if I lived, as a precaution, I personally, if I lived in Los Angeles or in that area, hemmed in by the mountains, by the high desert, where you have the jet stream that comes in and then builds up and then turns north there because of the mountains and runs up the mountain range, I would calmly be heading south east. I would be going into Arizona. I would be going into Texas. I would be going into Mississippi and Louisiana. I will be honest with the audience. I am not leaving the United States. But I don't sit here and take a government that covered up Chernobyl, that covered up Three Mile Island, when this clearly is now dwarfing it. Make no mistake, there's been multiple total meltdowns, fires in the reactors, fuel rods, 600,000 of them thrown every way you can imagine, fires in every containment facility. That place is a total nightmare. And um, what happens is you get moderate exposure, and then your child who's 8 years old gets leukemia when they're 18. Or your 2-year-old gets leukemia when they're 7. And we know, uh, and this is even in the New York Times and Associated Press, that an estimated 1 million people in the last 25 years have died from complications in Europe from Chernobyl. In an article that is extremely detailed and extremely important by Paul Joseph Watson that must be gotten out to everyone. U.S. government cannot be trusted on radiation plume. We have the animated government map uh, of what happened in 1986 in Europe. And if you're a PrisonPlanet.tv viewer, uh, we're going to be playing that video over the audio while I'm speaking here. We'll start rolling that now, showing what happened in the 10 days uh, after uh, Chernobyl, as it went out of Ukraine into northern Europe, into Scandinavia, turned back uh, west over England, over Germany, over France, and then settling in over Italy. For six months, the Italian government, I saw a comment in a news article, I pulled it up, it turned out it was true. For six months in Italy, they only ate frozen food from the United States and Asia. They would not feed in the schools public and private, by government order, any fresh produce or milk products grown in Europe. And you can see the map on screen. All of Europe got a dose of it. All of Europe, Eastern Europe and Russia, got massive dose, and that is only over 10 days. It then circled the Earth at measurable levels for another two years. The red area you see is guaranteed death within a week to a year. The orange area, they're talking about decades taken off your life. The yellow area, many years taken off your life, increased cancers. Uh, just absolutely incredible uh, what happened with Chernobyl. Now, remember, Chernobyl was a smaller plant that only had one explosion and then fires for a day, and then another eight days of steam rising <clears throat> out of the uh, reactor four. The other reactors there uh, did not explode and were not damaged. One million dead in the 25 years since 1986. One 